I've been sent seven questions about the criminal justice system. <clears throat> I'm going to do all those in just this one video. First one, what is my opinion of the current crime system? The police and prisons were set up to stop people from hurting each other. Crime has always been defined as murder, robbery, rape, etc. If you go back to the Roman times, rape was punishable by molten lead getting poured down your throat. Now in the last century, drug laws were introduced. They'd never been introduced before in the history of the human race. And that resulted in prisons becoming full of non-violent drug offenders. The police were giving loads of money to make drug arrests. The easiest people they could arrest were young people smoking pot. And because of that, you had almost a million arrests a year for marijuana, most of them possession. Most people just getting busted with weed. These young people get put in a prison then where they're introduced to heroin, crystal meth, where they meet their criminal connections and they become proper criminals. So the prison system has been subverted. It's an absolute disaster for the taxpayers. It costs more than $50,000 a year for taxpayers' money to house a prisoner for a year. And in the UK, it costs more to have a prisoner in prison than it does to send them to the top public school. So prisons need to go back to being prisons, housing sex offenders, paedophiles, murderers, and not all these non-violent drug offenders. A young person smoking pot should not be in prison. It should be referred to mental health or something like that. Do I believe prison and other punishments are effective? It was effective for me. I was a deal. I deserved to be in prison and take full responsibility for all the stupid stuff I did. And prison forced me to grow up and get out of that dangerous lifestyle. But in general, all the prisoners I saw come in, 90% shooting up heroin, crystal meth, getting these gang tattoos, swastikas on their foreheads, Gang knows they're not going to get a job when they've got a swastika on the forehead. They'll come right back to prison. Prison knows they're not going to get a job if they're just doing drugs all day. They're not giving them any work or, or rehabilitation or education. They'll come right back. Keeps both of those entities in business. So again, it's completely ineffective. Prisons breed crime. Do I think prisons rehabilitate prisoners? Absolutely not. A small percentage of them are rehabilitated in Arizona from what I saw but the vast majority were coming right back in it was a revolving door do I believe that some aspects of the police are sexually and racially biased absolutely if you are a black guy or a Mexican guy in America you're four times more likely to get arrested for the same crime in London you're nine times more likely to get stopped and searched the racism in the system is totally off the scale and drugs laws came about not to stop people from taking drugs because it hurts them, but to put Mexicans and blacks in prison. One of the first drug czars, Harry Anslinger said, marijuana tax act, these drug laws are coming about to put the de degenerate races, because of the effects drugs have on the degenerate races and to put those people in prison. Absolutely despicable. Women never used to go to prison, not known to commit violent crimes. Because of these non-violent offender drug laws, women have become the fastest growing prison population. Hundreds of thousands of women in prison now in America. And to me, that's, that's absolutely wrong. Do I think the current crime system can be improved? Yes, prisons need to go back to being prisons. And here in the UK, they tell us the police don't have the resources to investigate political paedophiles, while at the same time, the police just arrested some guy in Wales growing a pot plant medicinal marijuana, the guy was sick and he was growing it to address his symptoms. That's going to cost the taxpayers tens of thousands to go through the court processes. Absolute waste of money. Makes me sick. Do I think prison should be avoided for petty crimes? Yes, I think petty criminals go in the prison system, meet up with the hardcore criminals and graduate on then to the big leagues of crime. Is there a crime I believe is punished too severely and what? The bulk of crime in America is non-violent drug offences and the bulk of that is people getting busted with weed and that is almost a million arrests a year. That is costing the taxpayer hundreds of millions. I'm not saying kids should be out smoking pot, I'm totally against it, I educate on that, it can damage the brain at those young years but the reality is half of young people try drugs and would you want your kids if you found some pot in his room, thrown in a prison, 
where he's going to get raped or murdered and graduate to crystal meth, heroin and spice, which these prisons are flooded with. Absolutely not. You want to take him aside and give him some counselling and give him some education. More education, less incarceration. That's my philosophy. Thanks for all the questions. If you've got any more, please put them in the comments box.